Tonight, a tale of two cities, New York and Los Angeles. New York has managed to do what once seemed impossible, get most of its homeless people off the street. LA, on the other hand, has encampments in every corner of the city. The I-Team's Joe Grover looks at New York's right to shelter strategy and asks, could it solve the crisis on LA's streets of shame? New York's Grand Central Station. We didn't see a single homeless person camping out here. A far cry from a few decades ago when people were sleeping in the terminal, even in the stairwells. It was once the same story at New York's parks and in front of fancy stores, where now there are often no homeless in sight. I'm very thankful that I have a place. Jesse Galt was offered this transitional apartment in the Bronx. Home sweet home. Just four months after arriving in New York from L.A.'s Skid Row. In L.A., it was hell on earth, apocalypse now, night of the living dead. Jesse couldn't believe how quickly the city got him an apartment. That's because New York has a right to shelter policy. This means it must find a bed for every homeless person who wants one. This rule was mandated by a 1981 settlement of a lawsuit brought by a young attorney named Stephen Banks. It was a humanitarian crisis. Banks is now commissioner of homeless services for the city of New York. We had families of children on the streets, uh, in all night movie theaters. And uh, what was lacking was a comprehensive approach. New York now has a comprehensive network of shelters, apartments. It even pays to put the homeless up in hotels like this Holiday Inn Express, where Charmel Lucas has spent months. At the end of the day, um, just a roof, the four walls, some water. To be out the elements, because the elements will tear you down. Most of New York's homeless are now out of the elements. That's something that's caught the attention of California politicians. What we have is a failure of public policy. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg is co-chair of California's Task Force on Homelessness and supports a right to housing law like New York's. I want California to establish a legal imperative that everyone has the right to a roof over their heads. An idea that's gaining the support of politicians like LA Mayor Eric Garcetti. Do you support a right to housing law? Absolutely. Some California politicians want to take New York's right to shelter law a step further, making it a homeless person's obligation to accept shelter if it's offered. You think we should be able to say, there's housing, you gotta go indoors. I do. Come up and say that, I'm gonna say, oh, you kiss my ass. Kirk Kawami lives in a tent behind Melrose Avenue, and he says he's not going anywhere. Nobody's going to stop me. If they stop me, they can put me in jail. Would the city have to use force to get some people off the streets and into housing? I don't know. I mean, when we get to that place, I think that's a conversation we'd need to have with advocates. New York's system is far from perfect. City leaders admit they don't have enough permanent housing, so some homeless people get stuck in temporary shelters for years, and the cost of using hotels is high. The city paid thousands of dollars a month to put Charmel Lucas up in this Holiday Inn. You just can't just throw homeless people in a hotel and their lives are going to get better. Still in New York, most of the homeless are now indoors. Just 3,500 remain on the streets, fewer than 6% of the city's homeless population. Compare that to L.A., where 75% are still living outdoors. Do you think California can achieve what New York did? I think we can do it much better. Achieving the goal of getting most of LA's homeless indoors will cost billions. That's in addition to the $1.2 billion of Prop HHH money that voters have already approved to spend on shelters and housing in the city. The politicians say they're not yet sure where the additional money will come from. We'll stay on top of this one. Back to you.